Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Luis and God bless every single one of you. Today is January 19, 2023 and welcome to the Grand Spring News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, some very important information coming out. 37 million customers accounts hacked. So T-Mobile investigating hack that affected 37 million customers. Now, guys, uh, it was 35 and then it went up to 37. I do believe the number is going to go up. Now, this is not only T-Mobile, but I'm hearing fast food restaurants, Taco Bell, and other companies are also being hacked. So, again, it's very important that, you know, I'm going to keep saying it over and over, it's, it's uh, very important to prep. It's very important to have some money put away in, you know, in your house, like in a safe. Uh, again, guys... You know, I had experience with the bank uh, ATM machine down and stuff like that. I just, uh, you know, I I put some stuff away, you know, money. And, you know, I don't rely too much when it comes to uh, certain stuff like the banks. So it, it's very important that people, you know, learn from this lesson. Um, if they could, you know, hack T-Mobile or other stuff, I mean, they could definitely, definitely go uh, straight to the bank. Now, give me a second here. Let me just read this part really quick. And it says here, T-Mobile disclosed in a regulatory filing Thursday that a hacker obtained data from about 37 million customers' accounts using an API or application programming interface. Hmm. Well, like I say, guys, it's very important that uh, people start, you know, Thinking about their money. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, so loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in this plat, you know, what form. Also, guys, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. Guys, I'm just gonna bring this up really quick. Uh, it's very important. Uh, this year we're gonna, you know, file for taxes, everybody. So even PayPal. Now, many of you have been so kind and nice to donate to this channel. Me and my wife wanna thank everybody so much for donating to this channel through PayPal. Now, people has been uh, donating us through PayPal, but clicking on this first one right here, guys. So when you click on this and you send us donation, PayPal is basically saying Lewis is selling goods, so Lewis is gonna have to pay tax. So if you wanna donate to us, make sure you click on this one for friends and family. This is a donation, so I don't have to pay tax. But again, I'm not sending you guys nothing. So if I was selling stuff, then yes, I will pay tax. Uh, again, you know, give to Caesar what is Caesar, give to God what is God. But I'm not sending nothing. So again, uh, many of you have been clicking on this first one right here and sending us, you know, nice donations. But uh, instead of clicking on this, make sure you click on this one right here, guys. Because again, like I said, I'm not selling nothing. Now, I truly apologize about the SpongeBob. I can't find an error. Uh, so I had to use SpongeBob. All right. Thank you so much, SpongeBob. You go back home. Oh, to the crusty crap. All right. All right, here we go. All right, so T-Mobile, we read that part. Skip, skip, skip. All right, so what in the Bellaboo? Wash Base Wireless Giant said it's investigating thus far found that the bad actor accessed a limited set of customers. Account data, including name, billing address, email, phone number, data, uh, date of birth, and T-Mobile account number. This is this is very, very dangerous because most people have their information on their phone, social security, credit cards, you name it. You name it, you got everything in there. So uh, let's say, you know, you apply for, for example, you download an app, PayPal, for example. So uh, you have to put in your full name, your full social security number, all that uh, in order to have a PayPal account or a Wells Fargo or whatever, you know, you got to put all your information. Now, if it gets hacked, your phone gets hacked. I mean, this is why 
uh, this is why when you go to uh, Western Union, let's say you want to send money, right? They always ask you, are you sending money to scam or you know another country? Because again, guys, these people are out there. They're here to scam you. They're here to to take your information and this and that. And believe it or not, many of them are living in the mommy, mommy's basement. Uh, they are computer experts. All right. So the hacker did not breach or compromise the company's system or network, the company said, and was not able to access data related to payment info, social security numbers, driver license, or other financial info. Okay, so once again, guys, I couldn't uh, get stuff like this, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. All right. Um, mm, I mean, just imagine it would have gotten all that information. My goodness. So the hack started on or around November 25th and T-Mobile identified the bad actor January 5th. So we promptly uh, commenced an investigation with external cybersecurity experts. And within a day of learning of the malicious activity, we were able to trace the source of the malicious activity and stopped it. T-Mobile wrote in a filing. But here's the thing, they're gonna come back. They're gonna come back. There was a cyber attack. Uh, I, I made a video. There were 1,000 ships. We're talking about ships that pick up containers and take it, you know, to California ports or, you know, around the world. These are trading goods, a shipping container that's carrying food, whatever, um, materialistic stuff. They were all hacked. So 1,000 ships stopped. They couldn't go nowhere. They were all hacked. So this is why I tell people, get some money out of your bank and make sure you put it in a safe inside your house or just, uh, you know, exchange it to silver or gold. Either way, you're not losing nothing. Now, people are going to be like, oh, Louis, you can't be saying that to uh, the people. You're a Christian. You can't tell people to buy silver and gold. The Bible says you can't worship two masters. Sometimes people just don't read the entire scriptures. Here's the thing when it comes to buying silver or gold, is it a sin? Do Christians have the right to own silver or gold? Well, Christian has every right. It's God's currency. God created silver and gold. Many prophets had silver and gold. Even Abraham had many. Abraham was rich. You know, uh, the time when uh, everybody was chipping in and putting in the basket, the, uh, there was this one widow elderly woman that put uh everything she had in there and jesus is like this woman put more than anybody in this room he was like come on jesus man i put millions of dollars she only put one penny and jesus is like again i'm using like our currency in our time frame jesus is like yeah you you might have put millions of dollars but uh guess who's going home with nothing she ain't going home with nothing. You still have another $50 million in your account. So it, again, guys, um, Christians has every right to have silver and gold. You just got to use it for the right purpose. Taking care of your family, feeding your family, uh, using it to opening up churches and helping the poor. Again, we got to uh, survive. Those are, you know, options. But there's some people out there when they, you know, get silver, gold, or, you know, get all the money. Money changes people. Not all, but, you know, money does change people. They love money so much. There was a story back in 2015. This man lost $200,000. That was all his money. He lost $200,000, and he was driving. He parked in the, uh, I think it was the Brooklyn Bridge. He stopped the car right there in the middle of the, uh, of the, uh, the Brooklyn Bridge. Poof, jumped off. That's the love of the money. That's what the verse comes in. You cannot serve two masters. So again, if you have money, use it for the right way. Don't be like some of these people. Yeah, yeah, making it rain and swimming and stuff like that. I'm like, man, these people. All right. So again, the hack started on on or around November 15th, so we already know that. 
All right, so T-Mobile suffered a major hack in 2021 that exposed personnel uh, details of more than 50 million people. The company paid 350 million to settle class action lawsuit. Brought over the hacked, it was also hacked by Lapsus uh, hacking group last year. Guys, my phone was acting up today. I had no service. And I was driving around. I went to Target to use their Wi-Fi. Uh, it kind of worked. So I think that might have been an issue. That might have been an issue. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please share the video if you can. Uh, learn. Learn. You may want to prep. You may want to have some money put away. And again, guys, when you exchange money for silver or gold, you're doing it for, you know, to take care of your loved ones. Don't do it to make it rich. You know, there's Bitcoin people out there and you know, you know, I see you guys in the comments box and I delete your comments too. Oh, Jesus saved my life and Jesus loves me. He gave me $50,000 using Bitcoin. And you could, I mean, they have like 100 comments. Really, I want Jesus to teach me that. Please share that. I mean, get out of here using our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's name for your profit. That is their master, they go after money. That is the definition right there, guys. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that wanna give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that wanna send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, PO Box number two, 3432 US Highway 19, Holiday, Florida, 34652. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give a like to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.